Hey there pilots, Lord here, back with an endgame update to my original Wasp build, which I am dubbing the Wasp Mark II. If you're in the mid-game, I do have a chapter 2-3 to three version of this, so be sure to check that out down in the description below. However, now that I've beaten the story and cleared all the arena missions, I've also started working back through New Game Plus and mission replays to get all the parts, this is what I've come up with for the final iteration of the Wasp. The overall idea and many of the components have remained the same, so I'll be sure to include the share code in the description and pinned comment, so if you guys have all this stuff unlocked, you should be able to just copy it in and have the Wasp Mark II ready to go. Starting off with the weapon, to shed a bit of weight, I've swapped out the Gatling gun for the Chang Chen LMG. The reload time really isn't that bad, it's about similar to what you would wait for for the overheat on the Gatling gun anyway, and it deals more damage while still having a ton of ammo to burn through, allowing you to be really obnoxious. The left hand weapon is the Gu Chen Grenade Launcher. Even though it has 12 less shots and 200 less impact damage than the Javelin Alpha, I think it more than makes up for it with plus 400 to damage and 2000 less weight. With that being said, same as with the mid-game wasp, you can really swap this out for any nade launcher or bazooka that you prefer. For the shoulder mounted weapons, I'm rocking the VVC 706 PM, as they have 6 homing proximity based energy missiles that explode into an area of effect, making them even harder to dodge than the 703s from the wasp mark 1. These also do have multi-lock abilities for clearing trash mobs in overworld missions, if you need verticality, again, you can switch to the vertical versions of these, they work just as well, but I've found that just by having good positioning, these work in 99% of the situations that I've run into. For the head, we've got the HD033M Viril, and the core is the Mind Alpha Core. These are both just solid all-around options that fit the bill for our EN and weight loads while being pretty good for AP as well as other stats, however, you can feel free to swap these out if you've got certain things that you like with other heads or cores. The arms are the VP45D, as these have a lower load limit than our old arms, but way less so we move even faster. The legs are still the spring chicken legs, which in my opinion are the best utility reverse joint legs, as they allow for the highest carry weight while still maintaining the mobility that we need. The booster is the Alula 21E for that super rapid quick boost, allowing for great gap closing ability as well as the ability to create separation from more aggressive builds. The FCS is going to be the PO5 for maximum mid-range assistance. Again, you can swap this out depending on your mission or boss, like if you need closer range or longer range, this is a really easy one to change out. Finally, the generator is the VP20C. If you decide to switch to energy weapons in your hands, you may need a higher output generator, so be sure to keep an eye on that. However, with the current build, this keeps me light and mobile, but still has enough EN output and regeneration to fit my needs. Now in the last video I had a lot of people ask about OS tuning, so here's what I spec'd into for this build. Spec'd 1 into boost kick, 2 into pulse armor, 4 to kinetic, explosive, and energy weapon damage for a bonus 12% damage to each of those types, then 2 into direct hit, 1 to access speed, 4 to damage mitigation for 12% reduced damage taken, and 3 into repair kit optimization. This used up all my OST chips from a run through the arena. Now you don't have to copy me, remember you can change these to your liking, but since a lot of people asked, I thought I would include what I'm running in this video. The basic combat idea of the Wasp Mark II is to wear down on your opponent with the LMG just slowly chipping away while using the shoulder launchers to really hound them. The shoulder launchers again chase and explode when they're in proximity and explode into an area of effect so it's really easy to get hits with these. If your enemy wastes their energy dodging the LMG and launchers, you can just hit them with the bazooka or with a boost kick. My go-to strategy is using the shoulder launchers and LMG until they're at about two-thirds ACS buildup. Then I try to close the gap to do a boost kick in order to stagger them. You can hit them with the bazooka to stagger, then go in for the kick if you're too far away to kick first. Typically though, once they're staggered with the kick, I'll hit them with the bazooka for massive damage, and then just lay into them again with the LMG and launchers. Looping this sequence got me through the entire game with relative ease, and I beat every arena mission in 80 seconds or less using this build and this strategy. So that's about it for the Wasp Mark II. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Again, if you do want to try this build out for yourself, I'll be leaving a share code down in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So be sure to give this one a test and let me know your thoughts. 
If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for more content just like this. And with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.